Tears have gone, the pain has worn, but the feeling's in the air. Pa, Arjun, you're up early, going for a jog. Ah. 5.30 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, the, the weather is cooler. Right. How much sleep did you get? Well, the usual, why? Did you sleep at all? <sighs> yeah, between my trips to the loo. Is uh, <clears throat> everything Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. I, I drank too much water before going to bed. Mm. I kept waking up to go to the toilet and then I couldn't sleep. I decided since I'm up, I might as well go for a run. So it is true what they say. When one gets old, they tend to sleep less. I'm trying to be fit here, okay? It's got nothing to do with age. Yeah, whatever you say, Pa. <gasps> hey, how's work? Good. Wow. Rian, look at all these hardworking people. They've turned our house into a library. Mm, no, la. of course not. Next. Mm, very interesting. What's so interesting? Do you believe what goes around comes around? Yes. Mm? Do you feel guilty after losing your temper? <laughs> Why? Ah, uh, you too. Keep studying. What are you reading? Questions experts ask to diagnose sociopaths. How to read a patient can help diagnose a patient. Yeah, but since when did Dr. Baskas see sociopaths? Yeah, you never know. Are you done? Can we move on to Wong Chan Singh's file now? One minute. So you remember? We have more than one patient in the ward. Yes, Nurse Kim. Once I'm done with the next few patients, I'm up to speed with all of them. Me too. By the way, we'll be transferring Nina Boyle to Children's Hospice. Oh. Nina's only seven months old. Her parents must be devastated. They just brought her into this world. How do you deal with something like that? Okay, done. Next patient. Nina's gonna die in a few years. It doesn't bother you? Of course it does. Just trying not to let it get to me. There's nothing wrong with that. I've seen even the best doctors struggle with their emotions. How do I do my job if I'm struggling with emotions? You will learn to manage. You are ready for the ward round? Yes, Dr. Raja. Bye. Table six wants the bill. Oh, sure. Who is it? It's the police. I hope they've got news for her. I'm not so sure her grandfather's going to confess to anything. It's Vanessa's words against his. What did they say? The police want to speak to me this afternoon. Um. Did they tell you why? They just said it's better to talk in person. They probably just want to verify the facts. Mm. I hope that's the only thing. They wouldn't call you in otherwise, right? I better get back to work. Shall we move on? Yeah. Okay. You have been keeping tabs on Ruben Lim? Yeah, the patient I is... asked Dr. Arjun. Ruben Lim suffered an asthma attack. He, he seems to have stabilised by his oximetry pulse. Came back at 76. I see. I'll, 
continue to monitor his condition. Fine. Okay, so we're still weighing the pros and cons on whether we should go with an existing B2C co-brand platform. Or we build our own website and store. Yeah. Well, the former is convenient, fast and cost-effective, but where you lose out is the customer data, which, in my honest opinion, is infinitely more valuable. Okay, so let's say we decide to go with our own website. Mm. This is actually what we have in mind for the Share Organics uh, online store homepage. Looks cool. Nicely out. You think so? We kind of designed it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're actually really new to e-commerce and we're not so sure about the do's and don'ts, that sort of thing. So after I got your first email, I dropped the list. How to set up a secure payment page, customer helplines, everything is here. Yeah, this is pretty much what we need. Then I'll give you more detailed info by tomorrow. Mm, you know, whenever I shop online, I'm not totally sure I'll get what I see. Yeah, because you can't touch the product, you can't test it. Mm, thing is, I'm a technical guy. I only know my way around content management system. <sighs> Ouch. Well, we still do need help with the non-hardware side of things. Mm, you need a copywriter, mm. someone good with words, someone who can sell your product with some flair. Mm, that's mm. not really our area. Wait, you guys know Shruti Baska, right? Mm -hmm. She blogs about cosmetics. Try asking her. Oh, yeah, Shruti. Okay, Ruben. That was good. Everything all right? Hmm. I want you to sit up straight for me. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Good boy. I think we should send Ruben for an X-ray. An X-ray? Are you sure? Ruben had an asthma attack. He's got decreased breath sounds. I want to go home. Uncle, can I go home? I don't want to stay here. Ruben, you got to go home soon. Where's mommy? I want mommy. Mommy's at home. He will come and visit you later. Hmm? Listen, Ruben. You want to get well, don't you? So that you can go home. You have to listen to uncle and auntie here then. Okay? Okay. Good boy. Now, lay down and rest. <clears throat> His BP is low. It could be pneumothorax. You know what Dr. Raja will do to you if you're wrong? I don't think I'm wrong. Okay. I'll send him for an X-ray then. Wow, still studying hard. Uh. Tell tell signs that someone is lying. Don't disturb. Ma, you're already an expert in that. How many times do you catch me lying when I didn't do my homework and when I told you I wasn't out for boy? Lost count. Yeah, so why are you wasting your time? This is educational. <sighs> Ma. You know how many patients we have who are not really sick, right? You have seen them. They're just worried about falling sick. Hypochondriacs. People with anxiety. You can counsel them. Be a calming influence. Okay. You're welcome. Oh. Okay, thanks. And I can still tell when you are lying. Nurse, where are you bringing Ruben Lim? For an X-ray. Who ordered this? Um, I did. Uh, let me explain, Doctor Raja. Ruben's ears got decreased breath sound, so I suspect it must. So you ordered an X-ray. Yes. Let's see if you're right about this one. Mommy's eye, you can't poke my eye. 
Yes, I love you. Don't poke your eye. Hey, Vanessa. Oh. Ma? I just came from the police station. They let your Congo. On, on what grounds? Well, they say there's not enough proof. What? So, they thought I made the whole thing up? Vanessa, it's over. Just forget about it. He sexually abused me, Ma. This whole time, you never ever stood up for me. Even now. But your uncle is so old already. And so I should just let him die in peace. You and Ba. Even when I need you the most, saving face is the only thing that matters to you. No. You know that's not true. You know it is. Anyway, thanks for the heads up. And just so you know, Grace will never get that kind of treatment from me. How are you drawing? Mm. Sayang, take a break from studying. Yeah, you're not even a student yet, Ma. Yeah, exactly. Once you are, you'll wish you enjoy your free time. Mm, better be careful with what you say, Auntie Lian. She's studying psychology. Oh, really? Sayang, what makes me tick? Okay, Sayang, I tell you, huh? this is fantastic. Okay, last time when I see someone, I have a feeling something's wrong. But now, I can pinpoint it with a medical term. I hope Pascal knows he's got such a conscientious student. Of course he knows. <laughs> <laughs> Ma, eat. Yeah, a bit more, a bit more. Right. Ruben Lim has a collapsed lung. He's going to require a needle aspiration. Okay, Dr. Raza, I will bring it back. So it is a pneumothorax? Yes. And the needle aspiration will pull out the excess air in the lungs? Yes, Dr. Jun, you were right. In that case, can I...? You want to assist with the procedure? I would very much love to. Not now. You can come and observe. Thank you, Dr. Raja. Nurse, let's get started. Good call, Dr. Arjun. Yeah, but Dr. Raja doesn't seem to care. So what? You've hugged Ruben, haven't you? And that's what's important. For now, you observe the procedure. Next time he lets you perform a needle aspiration, you'll know just what to do. This smells like freshly cut grudges after it rains. <laughs> yeah, it does. So, um, Izzy made a really strong case for Share Organics to have its own website. So, we're going in that direction. And you want me to do some copywriting? Yep. Uh, you've done some makeup reviews for your blog, and we think that it might just be up your alley. Except that you might have to upsell a bit more. Yeah, I can do that. Great. Uh, and send me your writing fee as well, and we'll move forward from there. Sure. And Suzanne, thanks for thinking of me. Yeah, <laughs> you bet. There's some bruising on your arm, Madam Ong. Mm. I suggest you go for an X-ray. No need, Dr. Baska. No need. No, just to rule out any fractures or breaks. You fell down. Don't listen to my capable neighbour. You know, just give me some Panadol. That will actually do. You haven't told me how you fell. Take me home. Uh, Madam, Ong, Madam Ong, you should tell Dr. Baskar what happened. Did you trip on something or did, did you feel lightheaded? Madam Ong? So, How can we let her leave? Well, if I could, I'll force her to stay. Oh, look who's brought me lunch. How touching. It's samples from work. I don't want it to go to waste. Yeah, more like you couldn't bear to eat it yourself. So what is it this time around? Granola burger with chia seed dressing? It's actually got taste, okay, and I'm eating the same thing. So how come you're so free, huh? Oh, I wanted to see how Dr. Double Life is doing. Yeah. So if your parents found out that you switched from surgery to general medicine yet... What? I had a couple of close calls yesterday when my mom popped by without warning. Uh-oh. Yeah, tell me about it. Turn around, turn around. Tell me. 
brought you lunch. Hi, Auntie. Hi. Ma, I'm not 10 years old. I can feed myself. It's okay if Chris brings you reheated frozen lunch, but not your mom with her home cooked meals. Technically, it's Latikas. Okay, enough of the silly details. Let's let's walk faster. Where are we going? To find a nice spot for lunch. All right. So, what did you bring? This is power salad. So it's not even cooked, and there's no meat in it. It's healthy. Everybody knows that you eat too much junk food. Look, if it's called a power salad, there should be meat in it. Am I right? Huh? Roger. Sure, Organics can showcase its products in the form of a movie poster and the product description will be written in the vein of a movie review. Mm. Hmm. It's, it's good, right? It'll give our products a touch of glamour too. Shruti's a fast worker. Yeah, and her rates are super reasonable. Shailing would love that. Okay, I'll email the boss right now. So how do you know Dr. Raja? Raja and your father used to work together. He made a huge mess in a case and blamed it on Baskar. So you and Pa know Raja? I thought I was seeing things when I saw him around recently. Did you know? He got away with all his lies and your father didn't get a chance to clear his name. Ma, where are you going? I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. Ma, it's a long overdue. Ma, wait. Dr. Raja works here. He's in my department. Yeah, auntie, it's better not to cause a sin in case he finds out you're Adrian's mother. Wait. He's in your department? Surely Raja can't be a surgeon. He's not that talented. He's not a surgeon. Be thankful you're not on the same team. That horrible man will stab you in the back to save his own skin. <sighs> Shelling doesn't want me to hire Izzy and Shruti. Huh? These are vital roles. What is experience to either have in ensuring the security and success of Share Organic's website? What? <laughs> yeah, it gets worse. In future, you should check with me first before making such decisions. So much for being proactive. <sighs> this sucks. So how? Are you going to fire them? Stop work? <sighs> no. She didn't say that I needed to. Hey, if you ask me, I think you made the right call. The police let my grandfather go. I wasted my time making a trip there. That's all they wanted to tell me, and my mother already did that. Don't tell me they're dropping the case. Well, they said they were going to interview more people and get more evidence. Like who? Uh, what does that even mean? Tanya, does this make any sense to you? The police have to hear both sides of the story. It's due process. And in their wisdom, they're letting him go. He just fed them a bunch of lies. The same thing I've heard for years. I thought I was getting somewhere. Vanessa, the case is still ongoing. Right. The police haven't ruled anything out yet. But just don't get my hopes up, right? If the patient refuses to listen to Dr. Baska, what can he do? Obviously, she needs help. Salma, have you still got Madam Mong on your mind? She knows something's wrong. And still, she won't take your advice. And she's so rude, Salma. She's scared, Salma. That is her way of dealing with it. But you were so calm. Getting angry is not going to help her or me. 
Stubborn woman. <laughs> Supposing she falls again, she lives on her own, you know? We help where we can, Salma. We can't do everything, especially if the patient has refused our help. Ma, you care and you want to help. That's already a good thing. But is that all I can do? I better go. Are you, are you sure? You better calm down first. But don't mother me. I'm going to the ladies. Bro, I know. I know I should have told her that Raja is my boss. Yeah, for starters. You still haven't told her that you're not doing surgery. And how many times are you going to keep repeating that? It's only a matter of time before Raja finds out who your father is. Then all hell's going to break loose. That guy can't stand the sight of me. Then you better tell him soon. You're not going to doubt him. Bro, it's a dangerous game you're playing. Just when I thought things were looking up, that she knows who you are She come clean from the start Lay it down on your Bye. heart <laughs> In my day, being psyched wasn't necessarily a good thing. What are you so excited about, Shruti? I'm doing this marketing video for Shrey Organics. Marketing video. Wow, this is a real job? Not one of those little projects for your internet thing? That's my blog and it's not an internet thing and they're not little projects and yes, this is a real job. Shruti, are you sure you can handle it? You're still in school and you don't have any experience. That's how she gets experience, Baskar. She needs to start somewhere. Don't be a wet blanket.